Hi everyone, it's Library Linda, and I'd like to welcome you to this week's edition of Did You Know? Did you know, on June 27th of 1859, two elementary school teachers who were sisters wrote the lyrics and the music for Happy Birthday to You? Mildred Hill composed the music, and her sister Patty wrote the lyrics. The original song lyrics and song title was Good Morning to All. And then they changed the lyrics and made the birthday song. This song is sung every minute of every day somewhere around the world. And in 1998, the Guinness Book of World Records recognized it as the most recognizable song in the English language. Did you know, on June 30th of 1936, Margaret Mitchell published the novel Gone with the Wind. Margaret was a reporter for the Atlanta Journal Sunday Magazine, and in 1926, she injured her ankle and had to resign her position. She became bored and decided to write a novel about the Civil War and the Reconstruction from a Southern point of view. She had the story set around her home state of Georgia because she felt Virginia was receiving way too much attention. It took Margaret 10 years to write the story, and the novel later won a Pulitzer Prize and a National Book Award. And 10 years after the story was released, it had sold more than any other novel in the US. And in 1939, it was made into a movie that received 10 Academy Awards. Did you know, on June 1st of 1836, President Andrew Jackson appeared before Congress to announce a bequest of over 100 thousand gold coins that was to be used to build an institute to promote useful knowledge. James Smithson was an English chemist and mineralogist who left the majority of his estate to his nephew, Henry Hungerford. But when Henry passed away with no heirs, it reverted back to James's alternate beneficiary, the United States of America. The gold coins equaled over $500,000, and no one is really sure why he decided to leave his money to the United States, because he never stepped foot on American soil. The Smithsonian Institute has become the world's largest museum, education, and research complex, with 19 museums, the National Zoo, and nine research facilities. Did you know, on July 1st of 1963, the United States Postal Service initiated the Zone Improvement Plan Code, otherwise known as the ZIP Code. From 1943 to 1963, the volume of the pieces of mail doubled, so they came up with a way to route the mail to different regions, and they used Mr. Zip to help. This new code was designed to route mail to different zones. The first number of the five-digit code designates the region, the second two, the area of the state where you want it to be sent, and the last two is the city designation. Did you know, on July 2nd of 1843, an alligator fell from the sky? The two-foot-long alligator appeared to have fallen from the sky during a thunderstorm in Charleston, South Carolina. And from an article in the Charleston Mercury, it said the beast had a look of wonder and bewilderment about him that showed plainly enough that he'd gone through a remarkable experience. Did you know on July 2nd of 1962, the 44 year old American businessman, Sam Walton, opened his very first Walmart in Rogers, Arkansas? In 1950, Sam opened Walton's five and 10 in Bentonville because his wife wanted to live in a small town. After the success of that business, he wanted to offer a bigger selection with lower prices and opened the first Walmart. The company exceeded his expectations, becoming one of the largest retail chains in the United States. Thank you for watching this week's edition of Did You Know? And I hope to see you again next time.